Hi, this is Matt at AppWorks, and today we have a very interesting tip on how to make your scripts run a ton faster in certain situations. And I'm talking about my favorite four script steps. So here's a sample script that I have that does a search. And the favorite four script steps that I talk about a lot in the classes I teach are these. Go to layout, enter find mode, set field, perform find. These four steps have a huge amount of power in your FileMaker solution. And this really subtle clue, uh, this little subtle hint that we're going to come up to, um, is really about the order that these steps are done in, which is not necessarily so obvious. Before we get to that, I'm going to lay a little bit of groundwork for you so you understand kind of what this, um, how this really can work. In this sample database, I have this field, which is an unstored calculation called client score. And what it does is it looks deeply into the client and it adds up the number of invoices and the value of invoices and the number of addresses and the number of notes and the number of people who work there. It kind of wants to give you an overall picture of how active this client is. Like a client that has a whole bunch of follow-ups that are recent would have a high score and a client that, that never really responded to a follow-up and never bought anything from you would have a low score. So the calculation looks like this, <laughs> called Z slow calc, and it just, um, is a let function and it adds up the sales and puts the sales into a range. If it's over 10,000, it gives them a really high score. And then adds up the total number of uh, keywords that the client has, uh, like the different industries that they work in, people who work there, and the notes that they have follow-ups. Okay. And then I have another field, which is a summary function of that field. And those of you who know FileMaker know exactly what's going to be coming. So unsort calculation and a summary. Um, these are things that are innocuous. We've seen them in a lot of FileMaker solutions, but they have a very, very large negative effect on performance when you're looking at a large set of records. So this field is right here on this screen. If I do a new search for something like um, uh, MA Tech, something like that, um, what's going to happen is, actually that's not a good example because it happens super fast. Let me try ABC or AB. I want to get a larger set of records, and so you can kind of see what happens. Okay, my search is running, and it's taking a good long time. That several seconds it took was just to add up the score for these 44 records. Okay, so let's go back to our script and talk about these steps. If I run this script right now in debugger, which I'm going to do, um, we'll take a look and watch it run. So it, first of all, I grab a start and an end so I can track the time. Um, goes to find mode. Sets a field to search for ABC, um, runs my search, and then tracks the end time, the duration, then shows me a dialog telling me how long it took. So it took 10 seconds to run if I run it uh, in debugger, which obviously it's going to be um, slower because I, I had to watch it run. So if I just run the script, it'll probably run in a pretty small fraction of a second, especially since all this data is now cached. OK. Um, if I run this script, and this is the tip right here, so here we're going to get to it. Um, if I have my, my set of records, um, that's the all records in my set, and that's 94,000 records in this set, um, and I come to this layout by going to go to layout, I'm going to pay a very, very large price right at that moment when my script is running um, because it's going to have to calculate all of those records. Uh, it's going to have to run that unstored calculation for all the records really only for the set that's in my first uh, group of 50 or so records that FileMaker will do. But if I have my summary field on my layout, I'm going to actually bring that out on the layout right now. Over to the side, I have this thing called sum slow calc. And let's see how that affects things. So um, this is already cached, so the first time through, this is not going to have much of a tax. But if I run this again, What's going to happen as soon as I do this go to layout command, I kind of skipped past it, is it's going to, whatever my found set is, it's going to then force that calculation to add up the total score for all of those records, which is something you really don't want to do in a large list. Um, so uh, let's try this. Um, let's try to change the order and see what this tip would do. And so we, again, get right to the what, what I'm talking about here. Rather than going to layout mode first, the better thing to do is to go to find mode first. That's the, that's the source of the tip right here. Because if you're in find mode first before you come to this layout, then even if your found set is all of the records that you're looking at, 
you're in fine mode, and so it doesn't pay that tax, right? So when it runs its uh, find, the first time it's actually showing you any records, there's only 17, so it's not such a big price. So um, to really show this, let me go to one of my customer details and then change my found set to show all records, Command J, show all records, and I'm gonna debug that again. Uh, but I have to be in script workspace to do that. So now I'm gonna go to find mode first, go to layout mode, uh, or go to the, the layout in question, and I don't pay that price because I'm in find mode. Do a search for my field, do my find, and then quickly it tells me the total score for all of them. Okay, uh, here's how we're gonna end this video because you're gonna really see what happens when I change this. I'm gonna change the order of these back to the way they were first and save my script. Change my found, whoops, I just hid FileMaker. I meant to say come show all records, Command J, Command H right next to each other. Now I'm gonna run my script again. And now that I've got a full found set, as soon as I go to that layout, it's gonna just die. It's gonna just stop. So here's, here's what's gonna happen. So go to layout. And now I see nothing is happening, right? I get a spinning beach ball, and I get this dialog box saying, summarizing some Z slow calc. And it's doing it for 94,000 records. And you know what? We're not gonna wait till the end of that because that's just not gonna work. So that's the difference we're talking about. That's the massive performance increase you can get from this very, very small tip of just changing the order of two script steps. Thanks very much for your time.